okay, hey, this video is for Opdel. Um, I went through these standard 62170 calcs, and um, I don't know if I'm going to make your next meeting or not, so I figured I would just um, show this quickly to sort of run you through them. So here they are. This is uh, the calcs, and I'll just move across this. I think that's the best way to explain it, and then I'll show you some of the comparators. Um, so from left to right, I just have a big index column. This is the job number, and then there's a room number and a space and the area, ceiling height. The ceiling height is nine on all of this. Uh, this is the supplier that the design engineer had on his plans. So, so like up to here is the database that we have. Um, and then, I well, actually up to here, because I think there are, there are values for this design exhaustor that comes off the plan. This is the number of toilet units. Um, which for a standard 62 style toilet calculation you need. Uh, then this is the lookup index. And what this does is is you enter in a number here. So for example, you would enter in um, you know, 24 and then that goes over and looks up. Yeah, I already have it highlighted. It looks up the all the information that it needs, air change rates, RA, RPs, uh, exhaust air per fixture, uh, uh, code minimum occupants. Uh, this this keeps going, by the way. Um, over here, there's some design uh, occupancy things. So if you want to play around with those, you can play around with design occupancies. Uh, but back to the calc. So for so from that, like it fills in all of these purple columns, right? So all of those purple columns just get filled in once you map it to the standard then you pretty much all that fills in. So let's compress all that. We don't need to look at all that. Um, so from there, uh, we have an RAPA number. We have the population of the zone. Here's the um, RPPZ number. Um, this is a standard 170 space, this first one here. So <laughs> that's why you're not seeing it. Uh, oh, but this is a um, it's a corridor, so you're actually seeing that there is a 62.1 uh, outside air number. There's not a standard 170 outside air number. Um, this VOZ, I think, is if there is a 62.1 number, then it divides it by the ventilation effectiveness. That's one of these overall variables. There's a tab here for overall variables. Um, so then you wind up with a VOZ. Um, Room list, VOZ, and VOZ. I don't know what that is. I think that's really just giving you the same number. Uh, oh, no, no, no. It, I don't know what that's doing. Oh, yeah, it's giving you the maximum of these two is what it's giving you. Sorry, that was easy enough. Um, so then we have the unoccupied VOZ. Uh, which is usually going to be zero unless they're unless the unoccupied column of standard 170 says no, you can't turn this down during an unoccupied area. Uh, exhaust air calculated by 62 based on fixture units or square foot. Exhaust air calculated by 170. A comparison so that you can see what the exhaust air. Um, if you're allowed to turn down exhaust air, then this is zero. If you're not allowed to turn down exhaust air, then this is. A uh, number here's pressurization air in this column. Uh, and then you get your supply air code. You're basically your code minimum supply air under standard 62, which I just used the 1.5 factor. Here's your code minimum supply air under standard 170. Um, and I think this is before a pressure correction. Um, so then you have a, a minimum occupied supplier. Sorry, I tabbed over there a little bit, but let's go back here. A minimum occupied supplier, and then you're going to have a minimum unoccupied supplier. OK, here's where it gets fun. So um, what this does is this is a sum. This is doing some sum if <laughs> work here. So what it's doing is it's summing. Uh, first off, it sums by the job number. And then what it does is it's looking for all of the 62 style spaces and it is summing up the zone population. So this is the sum of the zone population for the 62 spaces in the system. And then from that, you can calculate the diversity factor for the 62 spaces in the system. 
um, you do need to look up your overall or you do need to know your overall system density and that's one of these overall variables overall overall all system population density and right now I have that set at basically um, five uh, total square total people per thousand square feet which is 200 square foot per person overall um, you know four would be 250 um, square foot per person overall so anyway uh, that gives you the diversity number um, and and this is just the diversity number for the 62 style spaces within the the system uh, and then of course you look up your ev or that's a calculation to get your ev for the 62.1 style spaces and from that you're able to calculate your vou for the 62.1 style spaces within each one of these systems and then you do a summation of all of the um uh, oh no this is just the division to get the system outside air for the 62.1 um, spaces within the same system. Then we sum up all of the 170 spaces um, inside the same system. So this this is basically the summated uh, total outside air. I'm going to change the color of this to kind of a, I don't know whether you want it green. So that's this the the sum of the 62 outside air. This is the sum of the 170 outside air within the system. And then you just add those. You literally just add those two together. Um, to get the outside air requirement at the system. So that's how the calculations work. You can pause and rewind that video for however much of that you want to see or re-see as often as you want. Um, press save here and then I'll show you some of these uh, results. So over here we have this tab called results pivot table and this shows you all the systems. Uh, I think there are 10 or how many? No, there's 14 systems here. And it just pivots it so it gives you the area of the system and then the the minimum the occupied exhaust of the system the minimum supplier the code minimum uh supplier this is the outside air uh, the system outside air that's required at that system and then just for fun i put in this is the design engineers um design supplier for the system uh, and then over here, those are just sort of tabulated in two ways. Since everything's nine foot, uh, I list it first as as outside air per square foot, and then I list it as um, air changes per hour. And you can always refresh this um, if you if the numbers are uh, to get the latest numbers from this tab right here. So you just right click and press refresh, and that gets you the latest numbers. So for example, if you wanted to take a look at like, hey, what happens if I put 10 uh, total people per thousand square feet? And then you can just refresh this and you'll see how those numbers change with when there's more occupied um, spaces or you move them back to five or back to four and you can refresh it again and you see the outside air numbers are changing there each time. So there's all the systems uh, generally our outside air. This table here is in units of air changes. So you see our outside air riding around an air change, 0.75 air change, one air change, right, throughout uh, these systems. Uh, what else was I going to show you? Oh, just so that you know what's in the systems. Uh, so again, there's these 14 systems in here. If you want to know what's in the systems, you can look at this. I know this looks kind of ugly, uh, but it's it should be useful with a mouse <laughs> uh, because if you want to know what's in the system, this is just 100%. Uh, and you can just look at the systems. This one, I believe, is the system that's primarily operating rooms. So AH6 over there is this is the OR system, right? So this system is what 73% operating rooms, and then there's some class one imaging rooms in the system. In the system, whereas some of these other systems, this is uh, corridors, uh, this is admin, and then this is patient area corridor. This is um, storage patient corridor patient room so this light blue color here is patient room i think that's pretty common you'll see patient room patient room patient room corridors are obviously the most common space here's our admin spaces so you can kind of use this to get a notion of okay what's in these systems that have these different numbers associated to them so you have the results uh, you have the system composition sitting here uh, here's the overall 
you know, calculation itself. Uh, there's just the two overall variables. One is the, the outlet ventilation effectiveness. The other is the density. This is the big lookup table. Uh, this tab you won't ever need to use. It's the one that um, creates this chart. So that's the spreadsheet, man. I will save it um, and I'll save it with this tab facing out and I'm going to email it to you along with this video uh, right now. Okay.